Hello, hello! This is a highly requested video on the wear and tear of my Gucci loafers. I purchased these about nine months ago from Nordstrom, and if you would like to see my initial thoughts and unboxing of these shoes, you can click on the link in my description box below. In the past nine months, I wore these frequently, about three times a week, but most of the time I would be wearing them indoors um, in the office. And I think I have worn them on long walks to outdoors as well, but I try to avoid wearing these out when it's raining. Let's start off with the metalware here. So the gold hardware here is looking uh, just like how it did when I first got the shoes. No discoloration. You do see some dark spots here and there, and it's because it was originally like that. I think they're trying to go for a more vintage look. If these were shiny, I think these shoes would look very tacky. There are no scrapes or scratches. And all around, there's also no scratches, except you do see some crease marks because of how soft the leather is. One thing I do want to point out is at the back, there is some scraping happening here, and, and it looks a bit duller on the heels. Because I do wear these when I'm driving, and being in this position and switching back and forth between the gas pedal and the brakes will cause some kind of um, scratching. But it's okay, these are not meant to be babied. I already made it very clear when I got these shoes. I wanted to experience the luxuriousness of the leather, and I did. So looking back at the soles, I did not put on any protectant um, or whatever those um, sole protectors that you guys do with the shoes. So yeah, I got to experience what walking on leather soles felt like and I have to say it was quite slippery in the beginning but as it got sanded down um, the slipperiness went away. My shoes still look very new because compared to my everyday shoes um, I do put a little extra more care into these when I'm wearing them. For example, if I wore my everyday sneakers, I don't care if I see a puddle, I would just like step straight into it and then get on with my day. But if I do see a puddle in front of me mm, wearing these shoes, I will walk around the puddle instead of walking into that puddle. And just things like that. I am yeah, a little bit more careful when I'm out with these shoes, but not babying them whatsoever. And I mentioned in my first video that I do have wide feet, so that means this part of my feet um, usually is wider and it causes the shoes to get like stretched out. But so far, it's not, the shape is not deformed. It still looks like it's holding up very nicely. And when I'm wearing my shoes, uh, my feet look slimmer. The version that I got is the one where you can step down at the back. Unfortunately, I have not done that yet, and I know I mentioned that I will probably do that after the six-month mark, but I don't think I will do it because, I don't know, mm, it will cause the shoe to get deformed a little bit, and then I won't be able to pull it back up again. I don't know. I don't want to ruin these shoes, um, so I think I'll just wear them as regular loafers for now. Okay, so... What is my impression of these shoes after having these for nine months? And would I ever purchase these again? 100% yes. These have been so comfortable on my feet. Um, I always get blisters during the process of breaking into new shoes, and I never experienced that in these. The leather is just so soft everywhere. But it's not so soft to the point that the whole thing collapses and, and, and becomes deformed. Before these shoes, I never believed in getting high quality shoes, but after wearing these, I have been looking for other mm, leather shoes that I could potentially invest in. Because it really does make a difference, and after getting these shoes, I have been more conscious of the type of materials of the shoes that I get. If I had a pair of shoes that's made of like, you know, plastic or pleather versus a a, a, a slightly more expensive shoe made of real leather i would probably go for the more expensive one i don't know about you but in the past when i used to wear uh, flats my feet just feel so uncomfortable after a few hours or even one or two hours into wearing them 
um, because they cut into my skin and my feet feel suffocated, if you know what I mean. And I really believe it's because of the material that those shoes are made of. So overall, I love these shoes a lot and I think they're worth every single penny. I love how these are sophisticated looking and not flashy at all. I've actually started looking at other Gucci loafers and I want to get another pair. But I don't know because the styles are cute but they're kind of flashy looking. And they have that GG logo. I, I want to be low key in the office or just in general. Like I want to experience a luxury luxuriousness without being in your face about it. So there are two different types of these loafers. One is the one where you can step down, like mine. And another one looks exactly the same, except the back does not step down. So if um, if I had to choose between the two, I would still go with this kind because of how soft the leather is. The one option, you get two kinds of wear out of it, which is very versatile in my opinion. Um, so yeah. I 100% recommend these shoes. I hope I answered your questions on the wear and tear of these shoes. And if you have any further questions, don't hesitate to leave a comment below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Okay, and thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!